Alright lads, Marshall here, and today we are reviewing Moss's Playmaker, the second informed version of Mathieu Valbuena, who's in at Cam. On this version, his last inform was a right midfield, I do believe. Now his price is going up and down slightly. He's 40k on the Xbox 360 and around about 50k on the PS3. Now he's got three star weak foot and four star schools. And I've got to start off by saying how good this card is. I was so impressed with the guy's passing. It is actually unbelievable. Just look at some of those card stats. Pace 86, shooting 77, but he's passing and dribbling. Plus his pace there, like I said, 86. They're all in the high 80s, they're just brilliant defending. Well, that's, that really doesn't matter because he's not going to defend. He's going to be basically playing as a front three, just in behind the two strikers, which are, in fact, Loric Remy, his former Marseille teammate in his Marseille card, and Gamiero of PSG, who hardly gets a game these days, but he is great on FIFA if you haven't tried him at left mid. We go French once more in the Premier League with Charles and Zogby. You can always rely on him down that left hand side because he's got the pace to get back he's got the pace to go forward he's a brilliant all-round player we have Pogba in at CDM that guy is an absolute tank great prospect for the future of France we well, French football anyways definitely the international side we've got Hatton Ben for the French Messi on the right hand side we have Congo Lazio's right back in at full back so you can see where I'm going with this it's all French Kabul and Mangala will be the two centre backs of course Mangala himself he's got a team of the season card which I do believe, I haven't tried him out yet, he is amazing apparently. In at left back, we have this man in Tremolinas, what a name. The Bordeaux left back and finally rounding off the squad is the keeper Cedric Carasu, who I rate very highly on this game as a non-rare goalkeeper. Now back to Mathieu Valbuena and his in-game stats, which they won't let you down whatsoever. These were actually brilliant when I first looked at them. Look at that crossing start, look at the dribbling, long passing. The guy's passing is possibly the best passer of a ball I've had in any inform. It's just amazing. He gets it right every time. It's very rare that you see a misplace a pass. Look at those physical attributes. Acceleration, agility, balance. His reactions are 99. That's just outstanding. And finally, we go into the mental attributes, which is quite similar to that of an ape. So... EA must not think he's a very clever gentleman at all. Now straight away, first game, it's Valbuena. Nice little outside of the boot pass to Charles and Zobia. In the end, it goes back to Valbuena, who creates a chance. And in the end, it is put in by Remy. So we get off to a good start then, in the first game. Second half, of course. But it is Valbuena that does create. Then how about that for an effort? That's sailing in all the way. His long shots, definitely, if you do have the chance to have a crack with him, have a... Have a crack. This effort, finesse, that hits the post and the crossbar. It's just crazy. <laughs> so accurate with these efforts. And then, how about that? He takes a touch, he gets it away from the centre back, and he just puts it into the net, all in kind of one flowing movement. That sums up this card. It is a superb card. So, definitely, if you've got the coins, go out and buy them. He fits in a number of squad builders. You can get them in French. You can get them in hybrids, the, I was going to say La Liga, but the French League, League One or something that it's called. Or oh, they put a twang on it, Liga, whatever. There, he sets Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur is just brilliant on this game, as everyone's had him. It's just so skillful, and that was a quite skillful goal. Here again, he's passing. It's just crisp every single time. The keeper does a Superman there. I don't know what the hell he's doing. But again, it's always Valbuena that's involved. Another great ball to Remy. This is for the first goal in this game, and that's exactly how you want to start games. He's constantly in the whole way in football terms. <laughs> Just behind the two strikers and in between the midfield. Gets in the perfect positions here again. One touch, takes it past the defender, and he just buries it all in one flown movement. And how about this for a little pass there? He puts enough height on it to get it through. Should have been Gamiero's goal, but it is Ben Arthur's in the end. So, for good points with this card, I've got to say, he's passing, I've said it many times, he's positioning in that whole kind of role. His team play, he links up so well. His long shots, as you've seen earlier in this episode, ball control. I struggle for bad points. I've only went for him because he's small and his strength because he is very weak. Now, this is the, probably the best penalty I've scored in this game. Stutter run up. And this is so top corner, there's no keeper saving that, he actually bounces back off the post. <laughs> That's just a great penalty. How about that for a flick of the head from Pogba? Before passing it to Ben Arthur, he finds Valbuena, 
who returns a favour and it's a great goal from Ben Arthur but again it is all about Valbuena this time just look at his run through the centre of the pitch here Valbuena he knows when to get into the space great team play he goes through he's not going to miss because he is very clinical in front of goal his shooting is quite high and he does score a lot for any team that he does play and I played quite a few games of this card because I just enjoyed it so much this time he flicks it over his head great assist I don't know what the keeper's doing there he does get a 4 out of 5 star definitely go buy him that's it for this episode I hope you enjoyed it leave a like if you did and I will catch you guys next time